This program is brought to you by Emory University. My name is Larry Young. Uh, I'm at Yerkes National Primate Research Center, and my laboratory is really focused on understanding the neurobiology and genetics of social bonding. And we do this by looking at uh, small rodents called prairie voles that are unusual in that they form lifelong social partnerships between uh, the mated pair. Um, and we do comparisons between these monogamous prairie voles and related non-monogamous species, which look very similar, but they don't form any kind of bonds whatsoever. And, and what we have found is that uh, molecules such as oxytocin and vasopressin are responsible for forming that bond uh, between the partners. And the difference between the animals who can form a bond versus those who cannot are in the location of the receptors for oxytocin and vasopressin, such that the monogamous species have the receptors loaded in areas that are involved in addiction, uh, whereas the non-monogamous species uh, do not. And uh, our work has, been, uh, has led to some uh, very interesting discoveries uh, showing that these molecules are also active in humans, such that oxytocin uh, increases interpersonal trust and uh, polymorphisms in the vasopressin receptor predict pair bonding in humans. Uh, in the laboratory, the way we study the pair bonding process in the monogamous voles is using a behavioral test called the partner preference test, uh, where we can place a male and a female together and allow them to form a bond. Uh, and then we will place the partner on one side of the three-chambered arena, and we'll place a stranger on the other side of the arena, and then we'll place the experimental animal in the middle and we watch and see who he goes and spends his time with. And an animal that's pair bonded will spend most of his time sitting next to and huddling, his partner, huddling with his partner and not with a stranger. And we have this whole system automated now so we can do dozens of uh, animals at one time and the computer uh, objectively uh, screens the data and uh, can uh, give us the results very rapidly. It's been a very uh, nice experience working here at Emory. It's a very collaborative environment, and um, I think that we're going to have some very exciting times in the next few years continuing this work. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.